Happy Friday, everybody! It is Friday. Get excited. You know what that means? Pizza night, right? Who doesn't have pizza on Fridays? We have it every other weekend when Jesse's voice come over. I just think it makes for, you know, the house is getting to get a little busier and a lot going on. Pizza's the way to go. It's not like I've cooked all week long and I'm so exhausted and I have to do pizza. Like we had Subway last night. So I'm just excited about it. I like pizza night. I love to get wings. That's me. I'm all over that. Um, so I hope everybody's having a great day. It's Friday. We're all excited. The weekend's coming. Great news. Um, so something I wanted to hop on today and talk about really quick and kind of get, um, get the conversation going with is, um, so I've been doing a lot of wedding stuff, right, lately, and I'm really excited. I hope eventually soon I will be making an announcement of a day and a place and a time and all of those things because we are so close. So I'm really excited about that. And um, on the flip side of all of my excitement, and um, I'm really, you know, enjoying myself with that. On the flip side of that, every now and then I also have um, some struggles that I'm going through as well. Those I want to share with you too, as much as the good and the bad. That's what life's all about. So um, some of the things that I have been working through, <clears throat> and really since the beginning of my relationship with Jesse is um, any disagreements or arguments or where we don't see eye to eye on things, um, I would be ready to, in my mind, not always out loud, but I'd be ready to throw, out, throw in the towel. And um, because, you know, here I left my husband um, because we didn't see eye to eye on a lot of things um, and really important things. This isn't like whose turn is it to switch the laundry or whose turn is it to um, you know, take out the dog or do the trash or whatever. Normal conversations that go on in a household, especially like a two-person working household. Um, you know, whose turn is it to do what? Because we're both busy. So um, those to me are normal conversations and um, acceptable in a relationship and so on. And you're able to work through. <clears throat> uh, then there's some that are on a whole nother level that have to do with respect in a relationship, uh, trust, and um, your comfort, safety, all of those things, those are major issues. Where my husband and I, ex-husband and I, never uh, saw eye to eye on, and it was after 10 years that we're still having the same concerns and issues and conversation, that it's, um, it's just time to move on. You know, when you're going to someone who you don't feel like you can trust or rely on or, um, you know, the, the, the big major things in your life, you know, that's, but that's your person that you also have to go to for comfort and love and support. Those, those things just don't mesh well together. You know, like you, you, you can't be the person that you know, I go to, but I don't have respect or trust or, you know, anything in you, but I'm supposed to come to you for everything. It's just, it's just not working. It didn't work for us. Um, and that's when we knew it was time to move on. So in Jesse and I's relationship, of course, in the beginning, everything's fun and taking it very slow and it's just a good time. And like we talked about the other day, you know, integrating the kids, it's just more like a play date. And, you know, when you and Jesse, Jesse and I started dating, it was just like a good time. There was no expectation. So as the relationship built and grew and the expectations built and grew, and then you live together and you're in each other's spaces, um, you know, that was a, that was a huge transition. So when things were going smooth and great, everything was, you know, wonderful. And then we'd have a slight hiccup, but that slight hiccup, um, for someone, you know, myself who had maybe never been divorced would seem like a normal slight hiccup. In my mind, it, something that should have just been a little anthill was like a mountain in my mind. Okay. Um, and I would have to kind of process through that, sometimes alone, sometimes I would express it to him and say, you know what, um, please don't take this personal. This is my own journey that I have to get over right now, but that was like a trigger for me. Um, you know, whether it be something you said or um, something you did, although I know where you're coming from and who you are in a good place and you've never shown me otherwise, but that, is a trigger point for me where I go to a totally different place with it. Um, so that's hard. That's super hard um, in a relationship, you know? And so now, sorry, I'm eating at the same time. So now um, planning our wedding, right? 
and I am really excited about it. And um, I can't wait to share so many awesome things with you guys. And I picture this moment. I daydream about this moment. And I it, sometimes it brings me to tears of happiness and joy. And I just can't wait to like have it happen in real life for me. I am really excited because I truly feel that Jesse and I are soulmates. On the flip side of that, remove my heart altogether and my brain can take me to a place of fear. Um, the other day, you know, I was talking to my friends and we were, you know, we're narrowing down places and days and um, they're like, oh my God, are you so excited? Like this, the, you know, if, if you go with this and you guys choose this, it's going to completely like relieve the stress of that. And I'm like, oh my God, you're right. And my next sentence to her was that stress is going to be completely gone. And now a new stress is going to come on of um, fear. Is it going to, is it going to work? Is it going to last? Are we going to be together forever, happily ever after? Then that little bit of fear creeps in. <clears throat> That's not coming from my heart because I know in my heart um, that's something that he takes care of. Those are my own fears in my brain of my past experiences and my fears um, that I'm letting creep in every now and then. And I have to work through that and no one else can do that for me. Jesse cannot walk around this house and in life all day, every day, having to go above and beyond, although he does that on his own already, um, but have to walk on eggshells because he's too fearful of my fears. You know, we have to let things roll out as they're going to roll out and life to happen. And those are things I'm going to have to work through. And I don't think that that's going to matter whether I got married tomorrow or if I got married 10 years from now. It's something that when that process comes up and it's in front of my face, I'm going to have to deal with that hurdle. And that's what's going to have to happen for me now. So as always, I am so grateful that you're going through the process with me. And hopefully soon enough, I will be hopping on here and announcing our wedding news, uh, date and place and time and all all of that stuff um, because I would love for you all to be able to be in that with me too. So I hope everybody has a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you so soon. Bye!